A 4-1-3-2 formation for the Hatters. Ian Ormson keeps his place in goal after that big call last weekend where the manager switched his keepers. It's a back four right to left of Dan Cowan, Chris Smalley, Michael Clark, who Jim Gannon described as our best leader in his programme notes this week. Stephen O'Halloran will play at left back. Jimmy Ball, the holding midfielder, just in front of the back four. Three ahead of him, it'll be Ben McKenna, Gary Stockforth and Scott Duxbury with a front two today of Jason Oswell and Matty Warburton. The subs for the Hatters, Ben Hinchliffe is uh, warming the bench again this afternoon alongside Harry Winter, Sam Walker, Bohan Dixon and the returning Adam Thomas. It's a strong looking bench for the Hatters this afternoon. No place in the 16 though for Connor Hampson. Darren Stevenson, we understand, could be available as early as next weekend. Sam Minihan is out for substantially longer. This time they will vary it and go deeper to Oswell. Got his head to it. Tried to keep it down and actually headed it into the turf and it bounces over the crossbar and it stays nil-nil. Brandon Hall, the goalkeeper, 24 years of age, signed a new one-year deal in the summer, the former Charlton trainee. Oh, that's a nice touch by Wright into the path of Ironside, who sweeps it out to the wing now. They switch play nicely, Kidderminster, when they're in form. And that's a great header away by Michael Clark. It'll come back again, though, from Joel Taylor. There's the header from McQuilkin, wide of the target, and it stays nil-nil. Which is uh, actually his opposite number, Horseball. But he's got away from him, he couldn't quite connect. The ball comes loose on the edge of the box to Duxbury! Blocked on the line, and then hooked clear. Well, that was a chance for Scott Duxbury. And it may have struck his own player. Yeah, everyone seemed to stop when Duxbury got the ball and he rifled it back across the goal and it just hit a body in there. It wasn't an effort to block it, he just seems to ricochet off someone and Kidderminster have got away with one there. The ball's still loose on the edge of the Kidderminster box. Jimmy Ball heads it straight back in. It's cleared by Williams, this by Austin rather. Oh, but the, uh, the winger, Sanupe, losing his footing on this tricky surface. Jimmy Ball took the throw far too quickly though. But County have won it straight back, here's Oswell, his shot was blocked. The ball again still loose, Gary Stockforth intervening, taking it wide. He's got Austin in close attendance. Oh, he's played a clever ball into the box for Matt Warburton. Warburton, it's opened up for him to drill it across the face of goal, blocked by the centre-half, Williams. It comes out to Jimmy Ball on his left foot. Complete miscue from County's number four. Still alive, though, for County on the edge of the area. There's still a chance here for the Hatters. That's a pull on McKenna as he went through. He was pulled back. The referee didn't see it. And uh, Ian Ormson away to our right has been a virtual spectator so far. Yeah, he has, and that'll suit him to the ground. Well, he did well there. He came out and collected it from the long ball from that free kick. But, yeah, defensively we've looked solid so far. And every time the Kidderminster have looked to attack, we seem to have stopped them before Ormson had to do anything. And you've just got to keep alert there because... Inevitably, there'll be a chance somewhere on a pitch like today, even a long shot as they break. Given away, though, by Chris Smalley. He's given it straight to Sanupe. Sanupe running at the county defence, drills in the cross, hard and low. It's only half cleared. It's a chance now for Engwatala to strike wide of the target. It stays nil-nil. But that was county causing their own problems. And a free kick which the captain, Crowsdale, will take. Crowsdale, who scored the only goal when these uh, two sides last met here in uh, Edgeley Park. McQuilkin. Up to Ironside, back to McQuilkin again, the skillful midfielder out to the right for Sanupe. He's got the fullback Austin on the overlap in more familiar territory, the winger. And he's skipped away from O'Halloran and he fires his cross into the near post. And well, Smalley missed that completely. And he's very lucky, Smalley, it didn't uh, find its way to a red shirt. It's still alive on the opposite side. The Harriers enjoying a rare spell of possession here, but they've been forced back into their own half. That's great defending from County to get it away. Warburton, too much on the header, but uh, Stockforth still manages to pick out McKenna on the wing. McKenna sent the ball round one way and then ran the other and crosses it towards Oswell. Oswell unable to adjust his body to get on the end of it, but uh, more trickery again from McKenna. Now Michael Clark could be the key man. He's taken up a position almost on the 18-yard line, quite deep at the back of the box. And it's Matty Warburton to float it in. Well, he's drilled it hard and low in the end. 
still in his own half. Now O'Halloran's made a good run into space on the opposite uh, flank. But McKenna's only got one thought in his mind, and that's a driving run to find Warburton. Warburton to Duxbury, takes over again, Matty Warburton. Plays it through the gap then for O'Halloran, and he showed him where he was going to play it. O'Halloran wins the corner. Brilliant skill from Matty Warburton. Salford, by the way, down to ten men. They don't have a reserve keeper, so uh, Richie Allen is now between the sticks, and they're losing against Bradford Park Avenue. Here's Massey Warburton. This is a chance, and he's done it! It was a long ball pumped forward. It was a hit and hope. It's very, very direct. Route one, but Massey Warburton pounced onto it quickly. Jim Gannon will be uh, applauding his team for the direct nature of that attack. That was exactly what he wanted from his side. And as the board goes up to show two added minutes, Matty Warburton has scored his eighth goal of the season. He reacted quicker than anybody else. He spotted the opportunity. There's got to be question marks about Brandon Hall, the goalkeeper, though, who came charging out for a ball he was never going to reach. And Matty Warburton just touched it beyond him into the unguarded net. And County deservedly lead by a goal to nil at the break player of the year actually and also in the team of the year last season oh Cowan heads it clear but it comes out to Crowsdale to strike off the post and scrambled away by Jimmy Ball that's as close as Kidderminster have come to an equaliser Ball is back with uh, Brandon Hall who leaves it for Ty Williams well, just that little sequence there will have given them some encouragement yeah definitely uh, and now the Kidderminster players know that there is a chance that they can get some out of this game with efforts like that. And they've created a lot more in the second half than they did in the whole first half and attacking again to the left-hand side of the ball. Substitutes immediately making a difference. Weeks now out to the right for the full-back to get forward. It's a good run this from Sam Austin in more familiar territory as an advanced attacking winger. The ball into the box, the header and the goal! Ian Ormson came for it at the near post and got nowhere near it. Glancing header from centre... The, uh, Centre forward to flick it on, and the goalkeeper Ian Ormson nowhere near it. And out of nothing, Kidderminster Harriers have got their equaliser. It's Kidderminster who've drawn level. And it's the son of a former county man who's done the damage. And here they come again with Sanupe from distance. It's come through in the box to Andre Brown. It could be 2 1 here to Kidderminster, but he's been forced away by. Some excellent defending from Jimmy Ball, who prevented the shot coming in, but uh, County centre half just again not dealing with the ball from a wide area. Yeah, and that seems to be troubling the County players now. We dealt with it really well in the first half, but second half, I don't know if it's a change of personnel from Kidderminster, but it's causing us real problems now. Jim Gannon has been critical of County's performances after half time this season, and it's another case in point. Thomas might be coming on shortly for County as the cross comes in now for Jason Oswell to attack. Brilliantly defended by Horsfall. Yeah, and it's exactly the same because it was a cynical one to stop Jason Oswell on the counter attack there. The same way that stopped Forth Cap, stopped Kidderminster counter attacking. So, surely the same punishments needed. County on the ball. Jimmy Ball runs into traffic though and loses possession almost immediately. And that turnover has set Kidderminster going with their pace from the deep lying left back. Joel Taylor, he's carried it 20, 30, 40 yards now. The former Stoke City man. Now Crowsdale with a long diagonal. O'Halloran's got to get there and does. Finds uh, Duxbury. Duxbury. Oh, it's a nothing ball from Duxbury. Easily picked off by Crowsdale, the captain. It's an equally poor pass from him, though. One back by O'Halloran. Warburton then played around the corner by Duxbury. And again, he's given it away. It's just a bit sloppy from County. A bit lazy from Duxbury, he's better than that. Twice in quick succession. And it's set them going at the other end as Cowan misses the clearance. It's kept alive by uh, Andre Brown. McQuilkin's cross is poor though. They'll come again and Kidderminster and join a really good spell here since uh, that equalising goal. Crowsdale round the corner to Weeks. Sweeps it out to the right for the unmarked Austin. Austin running it at O'Halloran who's backing off here. It's Austin inside the box with a chance to cross. He clips it in to Andre Brown, who volleys over the bar. Wonderful flowing football from Kidderminster Harriers. If that had found its way into the top corner, they'd have been showing that one over and over on YouTube. 
you know, one of those fizzing across the ground seems to be working quite well for Kidderminster when they get in those positions. So maybe I'd like to see County try that. As Oswell's through on goal. It's a lovely header to find him. Oswell had to take the shot on early because he was under pressure from two defenders bearing down on him and the end result, he finds it well off target. Yeah, and I think at half-time, if you said to Kidderminster that they could get a point out of this, they would have taken that, but they're right on top in this second half here and they look like the team that's more likely to score and get the three points today. County with 11 corners in this game, Kidderminster with none. It's a very unusual statistic, but it's not really a fair reflection of dominance. Here's Warburton down the left wing, he's got two in the box to pick out. One's McKenna, oh and he goes down under the challenge, right on the edge of the box. The referee has awarded the free kick. Might fancy doing exactly that, any ricochet inside that six yard box, impossible for the keeper. But he's stepped over, it's pulled back towards Oswell. County have not made the most of that. For me, that's a right-footed player's free kick. I played in a charity match once for a team managed by Jim Gannon. I could hear every single bit of criticism, every word. <laughs> it didn't matter where I hid, I mean played. <laughs> Here's our inside, back to goal. Out to the wing. Taylor playing almost as a left winger now. Kidderminster fancy this, they fancy three points. They certainly haven't shut up shop and uh, decided they're happy with a point. Well, that's careless though from Horsfall, intercepted by Stockforth, a dreadful challenge afterwards by Weeks. The referees play the advantage, we've not heard the last of that challenge though. County on the ball, Duxbury back to Ormson. I wouldn't call that an advantage to be honest with you. It's not now. The number 14 I think has been logged in the referee's memory banks as Oswell flicks it on to Je is McKenna over the bar, he should have done better, the goal at his mercy. Still one all. Six to play. Well, if County won the first half, which they did, Kidderminster are definitely winning the second. Jim Gannon, it must be mystifying that uh, often the second half has not been as good as the first. Duxbury always been caught out here. The ball played in behind for Sanupe to run onto. Sanupe's cross controlled by Ironside. Now on the edge of the six-yard box, it comes out to. The number eight, his shot was blocked and then it blooms onto the roof. Smalley with a brilliant block to deny McQuilkin. County one, Kidderminster Harriers one. Harriers coming close. Now they come forward again with McQuilkin. Down the left side, it's a good ball in to Joe Ironside who tees it up now for Sanupe, blocked by Stockforth on the edge of his own penalty area, then cleared by Cowan up towards Oswell who miscontrols but then gets another bite at it and sends Matty Warburton away. He's got two for company Warburton, he's been forced wide by the defender but he pulls it back to Oswell who fluffs his lines from 12 yards, that was an opportunity. A bit of credit to Declan Weeks though, the substitute who did just enough to put him off. Here's Ian Ormson, maybe he can provide another assist from here, <laughs> from his own penalty area. This time it's headed away by Taylor, headed straight back by Cowan, volleyed clear by Horsfall, headed away by uh, the now recovered Michael Clark. It's uh, County in possession, halfway line, Warburton to Jimmy Ball. It's a bit laboured again in midfield though, Jimmy Ball slowing things down. Oswell, oh, he's unlucky, tried to glance that on. Horsfall read it well. McKenna had made the run beyond him. Here's Stopforth. Crowsdale with the interception. Another player who's had an England C call up this week. Blonde midfielder now feeds it out to the right for Sanupe. He's got good pace and it's a good cross. Here's a chance for Ironside who slides in at the far post to make it 2 1 for Kidderminster. Great pace down the right-hand side. The ball played in behind Scott Duxbury. Sanupe with the cross. Ironside, it was on a plate for him. Such an inviting ball into the box. A lovely finish nonetheless. Ian Ormson stranded and County now have thrown it away. 2-1. Scruffy clearance by Finch. Jimmy Ball, terrible pass. At this stage of the game, you've got to find a blue shirt. Bohan Dixon wins it back. Plays it down the line, putting Joel Taylor under pressure here. Taylor's clearance is a good one. McQuilkin, facing his own goal, plays himself out of trouble. Full time here at Esley Park, and again, for the second home game in succession, booze ring out 
to greet the final whistle. The Hatters have been beaten and paying the price for a sloppy second-half performance. County 1, Kidderminster 2.